Larry Pickett with the Washington Times. Welcome to Milwaukee here at the RNC convention. We have the numbers for you. We have broken it down. The RNC has welcomed over 50,000 guests and the GOP host committee has given us some interesting numbers here. They raised a record $85 million for the convention. That went towards venue rental, transportation costs, opening parties and more. Visit Milwaukee, they estimated the city could benefit from about $200 million in business benefits. That's incredible. Now, the interesting thing here is that they went into the delegates' personal background here. Among the 2,429 delegates in attendance at the convention, only 1,780 reported an ethnicity. Of those 1,780 delegates, 975 are women. That's nearly 40% of the total. Delegates reported also a range in age from 18 to 89 years of age. Now, of the reported delegates, 318 are active duty service members and veterans, which represents about 13% of five military branches. Additionally, over 50% are small business owners. Now, the GOP also increased the number of black delegates at their convention this year since 2016 by 300% with 18 delegates attending eight years ago and at least 55 confirmed delegates in Milwaukee just this week. Now, those among the delegation that reported show at least 234 delegates are confirmed non-Caucasian from all major religious backgrounds, including Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, and Hinduism. Now, the delegate numbers aren't the only numbers that were released. Protest numbers were also put out there as well. The number of protests that came to demonstrate at the GOP capped out at about 3,000, according to Omar Flores, co-chair of the coalition to march on the RNC. I'm Carrie Pickett for The Washington Times. For more coverage, go to WashingtonTimes.com.